Hi hey everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Fellas again today, and I'm trying a some maybe slightly unusual um, a fly for Paku. Um, I'm just back from Malaysia, uh, and the guy showed us this fly. Paku have been introduced over them. This is sort of the top fly in the area. They tie them usually in blacks or brown. Um, Quite successful. So, uh, whether you're heading over to Southeast Asia, where the pack have been introduced, or you're heading down to the Amazon, or South America, it's maybe worth tying some of these and sticking them in your box. And I'm sure they'll work for other species as well. Now, the hook I'm using is a Varivas 2500V straight eye. 3x heavy, 2x long. Um, you could go for a longer shank if you like. Uh, and I'm just going to run on some 6 or Danvils. But any else way will do, it doesn't really matter. So start it with a thread just about in line with the point of the hook. I'm running on a base and I'll come back to the front here. Tie in my big chain eyes. Just make sure they're straight. And then, as always, get some super glue in there to help hold it in place. It just helps lock everything in. Now, there's only basically three steps to tie this, so first thing we're tying in is some silly legs. So I'm taking two lengths of uh, chartreuse with a hot red tip. I'm going to fold them over my thread and try and kind of line up line up where it, the gradations where it changes colour. Take them right in next to the behind the eyes. And throw them back. Tie them in nice and secure, under tension. Let them go. And then I just snip them, I just leave a little tag of the orange. You know, maybe a half an inch or so of the orange exposed. Now the tail is just marabou. I'm going to grab a, an extra select feather, and you can. This is a chance you can use these sort of less the feathers that you might know what to use. You know, if you were tying steelhead flies or something, they're not just as fine in the fibre that kind of thing. And we'll take quite a. Quite a generous amount. Right. Well, I, might, I might actually need to add a bit more. Make sure that glue is dry. And then, uh, I'm going to tie it in so that the longest ends are sort of just coming towards the back of those rubber legs. Slightly shorter. Right. Couple of wraps just to get it in, trim away your waist, and adjust it. It's a bit it's a bit sparse, so 
I'll, uh, I'll try in some more. the underside. The key thing is you want to make sure that the, the rubber legs are fully surrounded by the marabou. That's not bad. Just come in with my tip, your tip of your scissors and you can adjust as needed. Two or three wraps. Trim that away. Just have a quick tidy up, make sure that tail's well tied in. And then the last thing is just to tie in some uh, a nice webby saddle hackle um, with a good bit of marabou like fluff at the bottom. So I'm going to take my hackle and I'm going to Peel back a reasonable amount so that I can have a few tons of hackle fibre before I go into the marabou. And then I'll just uh, trim away the tip there to give me a tie in point, just like you would if you were tying in a soft hackle or a hen hackle. And I'm just going to wind this forward, I'll just fold it as I go, one turn in front of the other. Watch you don't catch any fibres, try to avoid trapping the fibres. And what happens is that the sort of stiffer barbs will support the soft marabou a wee bit better when you strip it, rather than just letting it slip slick away back. And just keep winding forward. Come right up tight behind the eye. That will just a bit do it, I think. Catch it underneath. A turn. Two or three tons will secure that. Trim away the waste. Tidy that up there. And that's basically it. Um, now I, I can uh, just just to sort of protect the thread a wee bit around the, the bead chain in there, I'm just going to throw in a wee bit of dubbing. Um, the original didn't have this, but I don't think it'll matter, you know, at, at all, really. Just a couple of turns. There's plenty. Just to sort of improve the... improve the flow of the fly somewhat. But that's it. I mean it's a dead simple little little pattern. Basically I mean a Paku bugger really. It's, it's it's clearly derived from a woolly bugger. Just throw a couple of foot finishes. Put your hook and pull it nice and tight. Trim away the waist. 
and that's basically it. Um, interesting little fly. The long shanks obviously there to help protect against uh, getting bitten off. And they don't like to use a wire trace, so they use the long shank hook instead. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was useful for you. Um, maybe you can tie these and go and try and catch another species on them. Or if you're going on a trip, you can you can try them out. So uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more HD fly tying videos. Thanks a lot. Bye.